Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's video where I answer another one of my questions from my community. This question comes from Isaiah Herb in regards to what is my preset selection process for having my presets that I use as a base for starting to edit. So that's the question that I'm going to answer right now. So with that said, let's get right into today's video. So if you look at the left panel here, these are all of the presets that I have, and I have over 2,000 presets. So it's like, how do I know what to use? What do I actually look for when I'm going through my editing process? A lot of times there are, you know, times where I will use a preset. Then there are times where I don't have the, the exact look that I am looking to edit a photo with and it's like I have to sit on the photo and kind of think about it for a while or take what I already have and I have to keep mastering things that have already been done until I've created a new look that works for a specific photo. So I'm gonna go through and show you a few of the photos that I have and just how I actually go about using select presets for those specific photos. So for this one here, this is a photo of Grand Central, a place that I photograph very often. And I have about five presets that I use um, inside Grand Central. And some of these presets are part of my Urban Street Tones collection for those that are interested. Well, here's a few of my Grand Central presets that I have. So what I'll do is I'll hover over the, the look that I'm actually going for and see how that specific preset looks. If it's not an exact look that I want for that particular image, then I'll use the preset that's closest and then tweak whatever settings that I need to to get the look that I'm going for. So in this case, I'll, I'll go through some of the presets and like this one here, the Golden Tone 3, that one actually has a look that I really like. And say if there's something about it that I don't really like, like maybe over here it's a little bit too red, I'll go and tweak the, the red color of that image and you know get it to where I want it. Or maybe I don't like the tone curve that I have. So I also have presets for my tone curve, which is over here on the right, and I don't have as many presets for the tone curves as I do the regular presets that are in Lightroom that I've created because these tone curves are for basically how I get my signature look to my photos. So if I went to linear, which is basically the flat default, that's what that image would look with my preset without the tone curve preset. But if I go in here and, you know, if I want a, a very strong, harsh contrast, then I'll use this particular preset, Skyline Curve Strong that I created. If I want something that's a little not so contrasty, I'll use the weak version that I have. And sometimes I'll use the one that I have for portraits because it's a little bit less faded, uh, less harsh on contrast as well. It's a little bit more faded. And so I'll do that. So that's how I go about, you know, selecting presets and, and you know, tweaking as is. Now here's a, a few other photos. So this is a, a recent photo. And so what I'm looking at here is what's the dominating color? So in this image, I have a lot of blue and then I have a lot of this kind of brass golden color from the bridge and this building that's here in the background. So that's where my focus goes towards are specific colors that are in the photo that stands out the most. And I let that be how I go about with my editing process as I'm shooting the images that I'm capturing, I'm I'm actually seeing the type of edit that I want. So that's how I know if it's something that I have already created or I have a look that I haven't created yet. I, I don't have a preset and I might just have to sit on that specific photo. So because I know I want something that's golden color toned, then I'm gonna use this new preset that I have and boom, that's, that's how I start my look. So I know this is what I want, but the, the Kind of contrast the vignette around this image is too harsh so i need to go in and make some adjustments so i'll go in and make my uh, lens correction here 
I'll straighten the photo a bit and then I'll increase my highlights on my vignette and then I'll also bring back the amount of the vignette too if it's still a little bit too harsh on the edges bring that back a little bit and boom that's it you know just a few minor adjustments I had to do and I got the look that I want so I'll also show you this image here as well with the the bird photo that many of you all have seen me share online so going through my process I'm like when I saw this oh yes it's sunset I want that golden tone for this specific image as well so here's another photo from that set and if I just use the preset that I created, same preset, I'm like, okay, that gets me in the, the kind of vicinity that I want to be. Now I can just go about making my little tweaks, my adjustments, you know, increase the vignetting off of that, run my lens correction. And it's still not as gold toned as I want. So I'm going to come to split toning and I want to increase my highlight a bit. And then I want to do the same a little bit in the shadows and we'll adjust the balance to get that more right. So see that that's how we got that there. Then I want the bird to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to use my radio filter. Come in here. You know, I'll highlight the bird there and then just increase the white level. Boom. There we go. That's that's all that we're going to do here. And so that's just a quick run through of showing you like using my presets, get me to where I want, make my tweaks. That's how it makes my workflow so much easier and so much faster. So here's another image that a lot of people have seen online. When I saw this for my underground photos, I usually have a, a specific look that I like, but depending on what train station I'm in and what the color palette is, I, I might change that because I might want something that is a little bit different than a, a typical standard look that I use when I'm underground. So in this instance, let's go over here to this, this version of this photo. I actually have several train station presets as well. So I know for that image, I wanted the 42nd street station preset that I created. And I also have where it has a tone curve that's more like a film look which I have it named for train curve because I know it's underground. I know what train station I was in when I created that. And I know the look that I'm going to get with that specific preset. So I might say, oh, that's the, the vignette is a little bit harsh. So let me take that off a little bit. Let's let's take a little bit of that off because I don't want this to be so harsh, but I still want to draw the viewer into the subject, her, her hat there. And that's, that's how I create that. Here's another example of where it's an underground photo. It's a different colored toned train station to where you have more of the reds and the yellows. But here's the cool thing. Even though the other image that I had was more kind of a, a cooler tone, you had the green color, that same preset, look at what it does. It It's like a warmer look for that photo, just using the same preset. And I want those colors to stay. That That's what's dominant in the photo. If I do the before and after, look at what we have that we're playing with here. We have the red and we have the yellow. So I want those colors to still stand out. That's my focus point. Then I also want to, you know, focus in on the train in this instance. That's what's in focus. That's where my attention is going. That's where I'm making my adjustments to get the image where I want. In this case, I don't have to change anything. That preset works perfectly. I don't have to do a single thing. That shows you how I go about using presets to actually give me a base or a starting point when I'm editing. Now, of course, there are times where I'm not gonna use a preset and I have to create something from, from scratch because where I want to go, a preset is not going to do that. But for the most part, my presets work I can, you know, recall a specific look and just tweak as needed. I try not to spend a lot of time in photo editing and, you know, spend most of my time actually shooting. So again, here's this image here and I'll go to this 42nd street station preset. Boom, one click, looks good. 
if I want to make a few tweaks, say I've, I, I, I don't want that matted look, the, the more film-like preset. I'll go over here to my tone curve and I'll choose Skyline Strong. Now we have a harsher contrast there. If it's a little bit too harsh, I'll come off of my vignetting there. And that's it. That's all I have to do. Very simple, makes life so much easier for my workflow and the thousands upon thousands of photos that I have. So even though I have a lot of new looks, I have so many presets to where I can recall many different types of looks, but it still has my signature style. So hopefully that answers your question as far as my preset selection process for when I'm editing my photos. So create some of your own presets. If you want to try some of my presets, of course, you have them available in my store at professorhines.com forward slash store. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.